Hey what's up guys, welcome to Deuterium Tech. In this video, we're going to replace the battery of my old Nvidia Shield tablet with a new one. So I already removed, hit my microphone again. So I already removed the back of my Nvidia Shield tablet so that I could identify the parts based on this. But anyway, I did not get the part that's supposed to go here. I chose a uh, 10,000 milliampere hour battery to replace a 5,000 100 milliampere hour battery. Hey, future me here. So I think it's important to note that uh, this 10,000 milliampere hour battery is the same kind of battery that you'd see in power banks. This one's obviously thicker than this one. See, that's different. So we're gonna figure out how to close the case again, but in theory, everything should work fine. As you may notice that this battery, the one, the new one that I bought, does not have a uh, battery protection circuit. So this is the battery protection circuit. You will see this. You will see this in all of the lithium ion batteries or lithium polymer batteries that you have. We're going to keep it there and we're just going to remove the actual battery. First thing that we need to do is to identify where are the terminals, where's the plus, where's the minus in this battery. Uh, this is the plus, this is the minus. In this battery, the symbols can be seen here. This is the plus, this is the minus. So uh, we expect the orientation to be like this when we replace it. Now let's move on to removing this battery. But there. First terminal is removed. The next one is this one. And it's off. Now, before we attach uh, this, what's this plastic thing? Okay, I think I broke something. All right, before we attach this battery here, we have to check if it's actually alive. Plus goes here, minus goes there. Okay, it's at... 3.8 volts. Is it 3.8 volts? So it's fine. So um, fortunately, uh, this charging circuit has um, labels on what polarity H of 1 is. So this is plus, this is minus, and has to be attached like that. All right, looks like that worked. All right, we now have connected uh, the new battery to the old charging circuit, I mean, to the old protection circuit, which is still connected to the tablet. Now we're going to try to turn it on. There's no adhesive here, so I have to still hold it like this. There's the power. Nothing. Nothing happened. Now we have to check if the connections are still okay. Hey, future me here again. So 
just to explain what's happening here, I'm getting voltage between the battery but not after the protection circuit. So that's why it's not getting power. What I'm doing here is I'm checking if I still have continuity by checking the voltage between the terminals where I expect that there should be voltage. Right, so we don't have power on this part. Something might have been damaged when we were transferring it. All right, so I decided to plug in the charger and connect it here, and then it would charge. All right, so I think it really didn't just have enough power in the battery. That's why it wasn't turning on earlier. So that's the case when your battery is a bit discharged. Too discharged, I mean. So uh, there's a certain threshold in which if the voltage drops below that, your device won't turn on. So sometimes technicians would just jump a wire here and run electricity through it, or DC electricity, DC power through it for about a few minutes just to give the battery some charge so that it would turn on. However, this battery was reading at 3.8 volts, so it's not too discharged. If you have any idea what happened, let me know in the comments. Let's uh, show the back again. There's the battery. Now, the moment of truth. If I remove this, will it shut down? It didn't. So, it's still working. It works fine. Um, I can open Play Store just fine. And I don't have internet connected here. So, that just goes to show or it just goes to prove that this thing is already running off. Um, using the battery that I installed. It's a bit hot. It works well. It's fast. It's not laggy anymore like the last time I used it. So if ever you have a device that's old and slowing down and you're considering replacing it, you might want to try replacing the battery first because sometimes that's what's causing it to slow down. As batteries get older, the amount of current they can release also gets lower. Eventually, they will not be able to sustain the requirements of the processor of the device that it's supplying. So that's why older battery power devices tend to slow down. While what I did here worked, I would not recommend replacing the battery of any device with another battery that's not the same specifications as the one that's originally in that device. So if you're planning to do something like this or follow this video, be sure to check all the ratings of whatever you're replacing to make sure that nothing burns up. Thank you guys for watching, hit like if you like this video, dislike if dislike it, let me know in the comments what you think and don't forget to subscribe.